And one night I was invited to a local outreach center to go serve meals to homeless men and women. And when I showed up on this parking lot, it was literally packed with two, three hundred homeless people. And just being a white kid from the suburbs, I literally was on homeless man overload. And I'll never forget that day, a gentleman that walked with his cane, his name was Marlon Martin, says to me, young man, and calls me over. And I go and I sit down next to Marlon, and Marlon and I begin to have an exchange, a conversation. And it was in that moment that I realized that Marlon was no different than me, that he was, in fact, just a guy. A guy that maybe had a little bit different life than me and gone through some different circumstances, but nevertheless, exactly like me. And that single thought changed my life that night. So in 2009, we began Project Live Love. We began it with the idea of influencing culture through love and action by engaging, networking, and mobilizing people who are motivated by love. We began to do this simply by populating the message, Live Love. We created little stickers and we created t-shirts that read Live Love. And literally these stickers began to catch on and have even gone all the way around the world to Haiti, to California, to other countries around the globe. And this concept of Live Love is beginning to take effect in the minds and hearts of people. Well in 2010 we decided we needed to go a step further than just sharing the message of Live Love, but actually creating hands-on opportunities, giving people an opportunity to put their love in action. We began the Live Love event. The Live Love event was designed to be a quarterly event where people could come and engage in one of a series of projects. Just as an example, at our last Live Love event, I had the opportunity to stop in on a couple of different teams. I got to visit the Furniture Bank of Atlanta, where we saw teams of folks there literally building furniture. They were putting together tables that would eventually make their way into the homes of people that don't have a kitchen table. Um, I had the opportunity to slide over from there over to a place called Sober Living America. It's a place where they're trying to create a sober environment for men that are coming out of drug and alcohol backgrounds. They have an opportunity, it's almost a halfway environment where they can come and live there. And we went in, we painted three apartments that day as well as served a lunch for all of the guys and everybody that, that was a part of Sober Living. It was an awesome day just to put our love in motion to be able to tangibly express our love in a very simple form. If you'd like to join us at one of the Live Love events, they take place every single quarter. You can go online to our website and learn more about the events, see what projects are taking place. We would love to see you be a part of that with us as well.